essentially came from a very big shove from Tony, Tony Rook. In about July 2021, he told us that he had received this funding application. And I was asked to present a family circus show. So I looked around Tasmania and realised we had four of the best acrobats, hula hoop artists, circus artists in the world. Freya and I moved down here having been working in Montreal and Louis and Meek had been working with another circus company on the mainland and then decided to move down here when the pandemic struck. So I asked them to do this show with me. The show went really, really well, sold out. And the chemistry in the room making the show and then on stage as well was just magic. So we ran with it and we made another show and kept creating work. So Rook became this collective which is now a not-for-profit company, and we are Tasmania's contemporary sex company. There's something about the island that brings creativity out of people, and I think people are really ready for it. People are excited to see high-level work. It's that isolation thing. If you're a little bit removed from what else is going on, you can start to create something really unique and really interesting and really different without that outside information coming in. We're very passionate about where we are, where we are placed on this planet. We're very aware of the indigenous heritage of this land. So all of our work is geared toward working in a spirit of collaboration, in a spirit of friendship, but doing world-class art. So I guess that comes under our guiding principle of generosity. Engaging with circus shows people the breadth of what can be possible. It just kind of opens up this idea that your life can be something other than what you may have thought before. And so we really want to bring circus around the island to share it with as many people as possible because we're aware of the regionality of Tasmania. And we'd like to take what we do to them because we feel like it's very joyful and inclusive and inspiring. When you are on tour, you go to big theatres and you're playing in big festivals alongside big dance companies and opera companies. And that is obviously very awesome, but there's something very special about being able to take those shows to small regional and rural towns that don't get to see them. Yeah, I've always thought that it should never be a barrier to see great inspiring stuff if you don't have money or if you don't live in a city. I feel like we fly under the radar, pop up, do this amazing show and people are left going, where did that come from? And I love that. I love that we can bring that kind of caliber and that kind of experience and take it to all these places around Tasmania. I think circus offers regional and remote communities and marginalized people the opportunity to engage themselves. It's a non-competitive physical activity where they can feel empowered and they're seeing world-class circus here and they too can aspire to become just like that. You get to make up the rules, you get to make up the game, you get to pick what is and isn't circus. It's just bodies doing amazing things. It has the potential to kick stereotypes out the window. The high schools here in Launceston have a really strong performing arts program and the professional arts industry is very strong. But the gap between when you graduate high school and when you need to be a professional, you need to leave the island, essentially. So a big part of what we want to do with Brooke is support people to help, help lift them up and help them on their journey. So we, we're actually in the process of trying to build an emerging artist program. And um, like our test dummy, if you like, it was Jasper in the cabaret. So there is this sense of being held and supported through that process, but also provided with the opportunity to have a professional experience. I heard this quote recently, that there are two important days in your life, the day you were born and the day you realise why you were born. And I'm starting to really feel like this is why I was born. It's a, it's a culmination of my entire life's work. It has so much heart and so much meaning and so much connection. And I think part of the thing that I've always found difficult with circus is that it means being away from your community and away from your family and away from your people and away from a sense of place and home. And, and the thing that's really exciting about Rook is that it is welcomed by our local community, our small, loving, supportive local community. And it makes me really excited for what we can do in this place.